Welcome to my kitchen. I was born and raised in the South, in a city, and now I live in the Midwest on a farm, and I love it. Other things I love are Jesus, my family, and everything food. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. This is my sister-in-law, Tanette. Tanette! Yay! We love sisters-in-law. We Yay. love them. They're fantastic. <laughs> family that God brings us. Sonia, I'm so excited to be in your kitchen today. I'm and so Tanette, excited to oh, have you. Oh, girl. This is so fun. Yeah. Come on, Tanette. Oh, bring it thank in. Thank you for All joining me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. Sonia, I think we met being instructors together. We is that did, right? Yes, at Jazzercise. <laughs> when I met you, Sonia, I was like, we're going to be friends. <laughs> I knew it too. And Sonia, yeah. you love to garden. I love to garden and I love to make the outside look beautiful. <gasps> you do. What can I say? You love making your spaces an oasis. Comfortable, yes. Yes. Very much so. And you live on the home place of the farm, right? Yes. My kids are the fourth generation to live here. So Four. I grew up in this house. Oh, that is so wonderful. Yeah, we've had a couple tornadoes. <gasps> There you go. Yeah, hey, we're survivors. Happens. Nebraska, it's not for everyone. It you do have to rebuild. <laughs> you do. Have you had to rebuild a few things? Yes, definitely. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Your most devastating tornado was the year of? 2008. 2008. Yeah. It took out half of the farm. I am so sorry. Yeah, but it's rebuilt. It looks the same now. Uh, and I would say it looks better. Probably, maybe <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> and sister in love, Tanette, you live also on this property in a little house on the property. I do. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love it. Listen, if I could have my sisters on my property, I would. <laughs> you know, we've been friends for 25 years. <gasps> Even yeah. before y'all were related. We always thought, you know, when we get a little older, wouldn't it be great? if we live kind of, <gasps> we're neighbors. The dream! So, now it's here. Oh, yes. God is so good it to is. give you all that nice. dream. Yes. And I love the tiny house living. It's oh. perfect for one. Isn't yes. that wonderful? It and is. you have the beauty of the farm. You have everything you need and yes. more. <laughs> yes. And she, friendship. And she sistership. actually has the best view. Oh, oh, that's she has a better wonderful. Than I do over there, so it's nice. What more could you ask for, people? I love that. Yes. I get eggs from Sonia, too. Yes. They're free range. They go about their own business. A happy chicken is a delicious egg. <laughs> <laughs> we believe in freedom, y'all. Yes. <laughs> You're kind of a grill aficionado as well. Yes. You always had tips. I remember when we talked together, I remember you giving me tips for the grill and I was like, wow. I like to cook and it's relaxing yes. for me around Ooh. the house. I like that. So what are we gonna make today? We're making acorn squash with an apple sausage stuffing. Yum. <laughs> what we'll do first is we're gonna show you how to cut this. So it's level and it kind of becomes the oh. bowl in itself. Oh my goodness. It looks great on a plate. It's a great simple serving <gasps> for one person. It's kind of, you can make it look kind of fancy. Ooh. So everybody kind of gets their own and it's kind of special. Like I that. love that. And that knife is beautiful. It's purple. Yes, Tanette. it's a purple knife. Okay. Okay, so what Sensei you want to do. Tanette. I'm going to cut it off like this. So it has a flat surface when it bakes. You don't want it to be tumbling around. That's a great pro tip. To get a flat surface to set on your pan, we're gonna scoop out these seeds with a big spoon. Fun. And we're gonna get started on something else. <gasps> so excited. And now we are going to take these out to the chickens because we do not waste anything. I love that. That reminds me of pumpkin guts. Yes. Correct. The chickens love so all scraps. So the eggs are really healthy because we eat healthy. So I yeah. love that. And I love that you don't waste anything. No. no That's we awesome. Know. We could learn from that. God wants us to be good stewards. I picked this last night. This is the bounty of our garden. We have snackable peppers, yeah. peppercornies, um, little tomatoes. This is real farmer stuff, y'all. Yes, it is. Yeah. Tell me about this island. Well, this island, um, my grandfather, when he bought the house, he laid wood in this other room over here and we had scraps of it. When I moved back in here, I gathered scraps and I hired somebody to make this butcher block type thing for the kitchen. And I really love it. I oil it up. I keep it looking nice. So I don't like to cut on it a lot. But yes, that's what it was made for. Well, we don't have to cut on it. Your grandfather made yes. this and it's beautiful. Yes. I love that, Sonia. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that story. Yeah. That's fun. So we're going to start with the sausage right here. 
Okay. That looks like some good sausage. And, you know, Tanette, talk about the cast iron pan. Cast iron, uh, woo! Mm -hmm. Cast iron cooks the best for us. It browns perfectly. And we will use it, and we will take stuff out of it and use it again because we only have the one. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take one pound of sausage. We're doing four acorns today. Love it! Okay. Fresh basil, right? It's fresh basil and oregano mm. and rosemary. <gasps> Three of my favorite seasonings. I grow these right outside my door. I just reach outside and grab and pinch. Oh, my dream. This, <laughs> these fresh ones are going to be so good with this sausage and make it really oh. sing. So all I do is I... going to make it sing, folks. Yes, it will make it sing. <laughs> that so might be I my just, new favorite phrase. <laughs> I don't even wash. God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt. <laughs> so... That's the thing. <laughs> You're in my life. <laughs> I'm glad you're in mine too. Aww, okay, so you just you. take your fingers and you just kind of pick them apart. Oh. And I don't know if you can see in there. We'll show you when we're done. You just, yeah, twist it up. You can smell so that. Good. Mm -hmm. So can I help you? Yes. So gosh, yes. Do y'all have any tips for those of us like myself who are not super green thumbed? <laughs> Yes, you can buy these uh, at the grocery store in your vegetable aisle. You can buy it. They'll be in a little, they'll be up on the top, in the top, okay. they're a little plastic, little square with some fresh oh, herbs in it. Oh, yes. Don't be afraid to use the cheap herbs you buy. You can also do that too. I, I love like cheap herbs. Correct. I like to know where my little herbs came from. So You're kind of an herb snob is what I'm hearing. A little. A little. <laughs> no shame. Ooh. I'll hold it up there. It's so pretty. Oh, that's going to be amazing. You guys ready to cook it? Let's do it. Okay, this is half done. And now we are going to cut up the apples, the celery, and the onions. And we're going to put it in here and we're going to continue to fry it. We use our own pork. We have our own pigs here. Like that. And this has no Bar fat. So we don't have to worry about draining the fat off before we add our other vegetables. That's amazing. Y'all, this is farm to table. Yes. <laughs> so if you just go buy sausage in the grocery store, drain out the grease to your taste. There is a little fat in it, enough for the flavor. So you want to keep that fat in there because it's going to help coat your celery and your apples and your onions. All right, the next three ingredients are apples. I used honey crisp, celery, and an onion. Woo! We're all going to start cutting them. Yeehaw! Yay! <laughs> your knives are so beautiful. My mom. Your mom who is in heaven now, she was yes. very dear. Yes. Uh, my mom. mom was all things baking, all yes. things. And my mom was really into the really good cookware. It's always been passed down to me. So I'm really appreciative of that. It's nice to remember her, her by with that. Yes. So yes. I get to use all her stuff. I love that. It's fun to use stuff of your mom's. And you know what? Mom always made sure that I had a KitchenAid mixer. Oh. And your sweet mama was very talented creatively. And quilter. She, quilter. My mom was Beater. a quilter and an artista. Let's she was. Yeah. So she could oh. make things perfectly. So yeah, I have a lot of quilts and wow. that'll be another cooking show. We'll get one out. We'll definitely yeah. have to. We should, definitely. we should show that. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. This is about the size that you want your apples to be cut. Oh. Because you want them to cook at a decent time. Oh. You don't want to throw a big chunk in there and have it not get done. That's a good tip. So chop them smallish. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. But not into smithereens. I no. Mean, depending on how long you want to cook it, but it's going to cook pretty quickly. So what little grease you get with the sausage, you want to use that to help this cook in. It's going to be delicious. Normally, what you'd be doing while the prep work here, we're being sous chefs. <laughs> Love it. Uh, this would be baking for an hour and 15 minutes at 350 degrees. A little salt, a little oregano on here. Just pop it in the oven. Oh, here's our finished product. Those are beautiful. They were baked. We put those in it before you got here. That's so amazing. they're ready to go. Okay, so we have our sausage and it is half done. That way we can cook this. We're going to put the apples in there. Ooh. Right? And then we're going to add the celery just like that. Go ahead and bring these onions over here. I go three parts equal three parts okay and we're gonna cook it until the oh. apples the celery and the onions are soft any leftover scraps or extra vegetable ends they go out to the birds when you start to add the vegetables to the sausage and you're stirring it's important to add a little bit of salt it helps them cook a little bit faster and soften up nice just to add there's no preservatives on this acorn squash they were grown out here 
Oh. They're really simple to grow. They kind of take off on their own and do their own thing. They're really simple. You're saying anybody can grow these? Anybody can grow a squash. We do not add anything to the soil. No fertilizers, no plant foods, wow. none of the things. Wow, and it comes out beautifully. It yes. Does. That's amazing. So you can feel good about eating it, which is always important, right? There you go. <laughs> nope. What we have here, we have the sausage, the apple, the celery, and the onions. They're, it's all softened. And I don't know if you can smell it, Marcy. I it smell it. It smells so good. Okay. Tonight, oh. Why don't you take a taste and tell me if we need to add salt? Because you want to taste it. You want to see if it's salty enough. You want to see if it's good. I love that. So she's going to give us a taste. Okay, this is exciting. Wonderful. Oh. Mm. I like to put a little Parmesan cheese also oh. in this. I love Parmesan cheese. Oh, you're adding it to your veggies We're and sausage. We're adding it to this. It's going to add some more texture and it'll be good with that uh, stuffing. Parmesan so cheese. So go ahead and mix that parm in. Because we'll be topping um, also with this. Cute. <laughs> so you just get your regular Italian style breadcrumbs. I got this at the store. Or you can use your own bread. Crunch it up. Whatever you want to do. I like this. It's just easier. Okay. Okay. So you take the breadcrumbs. You open it up. And you want to put, oh, half a cup in. Okay. And you stir it. And it's all going to soften. And this is how the stuffing is made. You're going to put this stuffing right inside. It's like a dish. So you add the stuffing into the dish on the it's acorn so squash. Yes. Okay. You can just throw it on there. It doesn't have to be neat because some of these crunchy ends, they're good to put on it afterwards if it falls off. Yum. Yes, yum, yum. That. That's your no waste. That thing. is. That <laughs> it. Keep it in So there. when you eat this, you're going to take a little bit of the stuffing along with that acorn squash in your bite and it will sing. I love how you say it will sing. <laughs> I'm adding that to my life. <laughs> Do it. I mean, how It'll make you, it sing. How else do you explain something that goes... Uh, it's perfect. Mm. Ooh, yum. These are so beautiful. This is a gorgeous presentation. Mm. Wow. Okay, so basically everything is cooked, but we want to just warm it up and get it all together. So right here, we're going to put this in. I also like to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, Ooh. and it's going to be delicious. All right, so now that we're done, we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven, and we'll wait it out. We're going to take a walk around outside. <laughs> yes. We have to dance. Of course. <laughs>